you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we're going to be going over the market crash. So, it's crashed pretty bad. The overall cause, I'd have to say, is probably, first off, influx of coins. Series 2. Now, we haven't gotten our rewards yet which i think might actually change how the market outlooks after the fact but for the time being prices are crazy down now with no big promo that specifically has come out to really affect anything i'd have to say it's on the basis of series 2 dropping series 2 gave us some more coins some packs some more power passes specifically the players that can be power passed have lost quite a bit of value which makes sense right lawrence taylor was going for a little bit over 400k 390 and then he's now able to be power pass but the new power pass at ma uh, maximum level of 60 and now lawrence taylor is going for like 340k now that doesn't make sense right because like people like me i powered up past my lawrence taylor and i sold lawrence taylor so there's a lot more card coming onto the block that before we're being held on to by a lot of owners so it definitely makes sense now with weekend league and solo battle rewards being doubled this week we're going to see an influx of coins for most people now with that influx of coins could possibly mean that the market might come back up so hopefully i have this video for you guys up by 11 so you guys could do what you guys want to do with the market before it potentially goes right back up because if you guys know anything if there's 10 kilo max in the block right there's 140 140 150 160 170 if thousands of people get double rewards everyone has a few hundred k now extra they might go buy those kilo max it might come back up to like 170 we don't know entirely but from last year last time we got double solo battle rewards and weekend league rewards the markets flew up a little bit so this might be time to capitalize on buying some things i'll definitely like dive into it a little bit after this video and really go in depth on what i think that i might need to hold on to for the time being guys before we get into this video make sure to go down below hit that subscribe button boys we're grinding out to 9k it's been a good few days on youtube i'm really loving it thanks for all the recent support guys if you could so kindly turn on that noti bell to get notified every time i post a brand new video and make sure to drop a like boys get this video to 200 likes and comment down below what your move is right now with the market if you plan to be buying if you're selling or if you're holding and hopefully you guys enjoyed your football sunday yesterday now let's head on over to the auction block the way i like to always run these videos any of you guys who are loyal and have been here know how i run these so go down to quality starting at the 80 to 81 so it's typically a good indicator of how things are moving so the 80 to 81s are now at 999k 999k 9999 so if you guys know anything about these when 80s are below 10k that's how you know the market's down just as an indicator because 80s are typically like 11k 1k might not seem like a lot but considering 1k 2k down is like 20 percent to 10 to 20 percent of the card's initial value it is a big decrease technically they are 20 percent down it might not really seem like it because they are so cheap but if you guys understand how that works you'll know what i'm talking about so the 81s are about 13k if you filter all these cards out though like i imagine let's filter out cooper cup you'll probably see them even more cheaper than they really say there 9,500. there you go i had a feeling now let's come over to the 82 to 83s to go really look at what things are what things are changing over here so well, i really care about the higher tier cards we'll get there not everyone really focuses on those higher tier cards so 82s are at 16k let's filter them out and let's see what they're really going for they're going okay 16k so those are actually that actually looks pretty common right there except that is devonta freeman only there's probably some other cards that could be going for a little bit cheaper now let's see what the 83s are going for so the 83s are going for 21k and again if you filter that probably be 20k so these cards are slightly down not too much down in comparison to some other cards but they're definitely down now the 84s 29k now these i know why these are down with our level up packs being when we leveled up from 50 to 60 we were guaranteed like two packs or 14k that guaranteed us an 84 overall player so obviously the 84 mark is going to be down with like there being an influx of those players obviously taking the pack is still worth it because it goes for 14,000 coins and you get pretty much double your money back but again that really makes sense why they're down which means that training is down if you guys want to see an updated cheapest training video make sure to comment that down below now let's come over to the 85s 85s usually go for about a little over 40k they are at about 36 k right now so they're really really cheap again if you filter them out you'll probably find an even better price for them now let's come over to the start let's start looking at some of the higher tier cards like the 86s i always tell you guys right when the 86s are in the 50k range and below that is when you know the market is down because these 86s have not come down much more so that 50k flat looks like being the cheapest now it's really good prices for the 86s i really do like this as an investment right here or even just cards if you want to buy them you want to buy them because like the next ones are 55k 56k and if they come back up to 60k that's a quick little little four to five k made depending on how much you buy them for now obviously 
when more flashbacks and heavyweights drop in the next few days they could come down even more but then you have to also counter in that we're gonna get double rewards so it might just counteract each other and do absolutely nothing now the 87s where, where are those sitting at let's go check the 87s are looking like 85k they're a little bit overpriced right now in my opinion but that's because many of the 87s are some top legend set pieces some of them are themed diamonds top base lead so there's still reason for them to retain value the other cards not so much so let's come over to the 88s and the 89s so the 88s and 89s it looks like 97k but if you filter them by flashbacks or heavyweights let's see what they're really going for 98k okay so they have came up a little bit yesterday they were 89k yesterday was the perfect day to buy training if you guys did not know these cards are here these heavyweights and these flashbacks were at 89k i saw them with my own eyes and i was gonna buy some for training but again i didn't really need training right now i'm trying to build my coin stack so i didn't really want to start investing in some training but these 88s are cheap like bobby wagner for 114 that is a steal right there like you guys know when bobby wagner gets a big card and there's been no year in madden history where you could power up your bobby wagner for this cheap like getting a bobby wagner we all know when he gets his new card like in years past you want his new card you gotta go buy his base lead for 200k his team of the week for 300k there's always something crazy with bobby wagner's price obviously his stats do hold him back being a 79 speed i understand why they might have some leniency on his price right now but again bobby wagner just by name by name and face i feel like that is very cheap deandre hopkins same thing michael strahan marcus allen these guys are really cheap khalil mack and i just saw an aaron donald before for 135k like it is unreal the prices i'm seeing right now i hope that wasn't a snipe that i missed before when i actually saw that let's go check okay now he's around that price 135k made sense all right yeah he's really cheap if you guys want an aaron donald now would definitely be the time to pick one up i would highly recommend if i didn't have him already i'd probably be buying one right about now if i was building a team this is one of the better days to build a team obviously we got mud heroes coming in the near future i'd imagine either the first week of october or the end end of september like the, the, literally the dead end like the 30th the 29th around there whenever i don't know if they'll land on a friday because that's typically when they do land on so let's go over so the 89s like i said again the 89s are pretty cheap too you can get marks allen's and michael strahan's are in the 140 range not too bad at all kind of wish i had sold my marks Allen a while ago but again he's helped me compete so i really have no regrets on losing some coins on him now the 90s are pretty tricky right now their place their prices are fluctuated fluctuating very heavily right now so if you look to series redux I recently just saw Philip Rivers for 185k. I saw multiple of them and a Cameron Jordan for 190. They are coming up a little bit right now, but these Redux players, when packs are opening up a lot for his new like Legend Fantasy packs, they've been coming out of packs a lot, as you guys can see. A lot of these cards are flying out of packs, so it definitely makes sense as to why they're going down in price. Because if you really think about it, a lot of these Redux players or these a lot of these limited time cards weren't worth it for multiple reasons. Their stats weren't good, and they were limited time cards. So now when they come out as a regular card, the only thing that held their price up was the fact that they're limited time. Now, these cards have nothing to hold them up. Like, Philip Rivers' stats aren't that good for a, for a quarterback that was going for a million coins at one point. 800k, 600k. So it definitely makes sense why when he gets a series redux, he's really not all that popular or that valued. Cameron Jordan, again, he's pretty good. His stats are not bad. I wouldn't knock him. But again, for that price, there's other options that are equally as good. And again, Devontae Adams, another guy that I think should be even cheaper, his stats are horrific. An 84 speed right now at wide receiver with what we have in the game, like Randy Moss. Like, it just doesn't make sense. Jerry Rice was faster off the rip. So I understand Christian McCaffrey at an 86 speed isn't horrible, but a lot of running backs have already surpassed the speed. So a lot of these limited time cards are like kind of rendered useless, and that's kind of why their value has dipped as much as they have. So let's get on a series redux and show you guys the full overview real quick. So we got the base legends here going for like 200k flat. 210 215 now definitely be the time to pick up some base legends again they might come right back up when we get to uh, solo battles and weekly rewards today so definitely stay tuned for that uh, hopefully i can get this video for you guys out in time so you could go over it and see what you guys need to be doing now again you could buy now or you could wait for mud heroes i don't know how much mud heroes will affect it i think mud heroes might keep the market right around here like this is like a, this is a low right now but this should become the norm when mutt heroes does come out somewhere within this range because if you guys know mutt heroes typically drops the best players at every position at least one of each so with that being said all the all the players that are considered the best at their position will come down you see shannon sharp brand new legend drop 91 overall going for 319k good thing i was gonna buy him for 400k for the weekend league run good thing i did not he's looking like yeah 319 that's crazy crazy cheap i really like sharp definitely plan to pick up a like I, you know, the craziest part is with all these coins i have i still have my team intact i'll still be able to play weekend league with them so oh there we go 184 philip rivers so i think i'll be fine i'll wait till markets the market's really cheap and pick up some banger players lord's taylor is definitely really cheap i recommend picking him up at some point or just using your power passing him because lord taylor is overpowered he'll be on your team all year you don't have to worry about him like i told you guys with gale sayers do not buy him for 550k i told you once other running backs came out or anything else came out gale sayers would no longer be as expensive as he was and he's already trending down guys 
He's not he's not a popular uh, player to really like people are like, oh, I need to have him. Not like a Saquon or a Zeke or a Ladanian or a Barry. So I knew his value wouldn't hold. Julio was on the come down. And Lamar actually did rise in price. So if you guys have Lamar, you don't really like him or you don't want to use him, I'd recommend selling him pretty soon. Maybe wait for the rewards to come out, guys. But it's about it for the video. I don't really have to brush over the 92, 93s because again, there's not there's no real value here. Just a bunch of overpriced cards that people don't really care about right now. Like Vic, Luck. Julius Peppers, Randy Moss, they're all overpriced. Nothing much to really, there's no advice I can really give you on them. You either buy them and you're high rolling or you don't. But guys, that is about it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Turn on that noti bell. Comment down below what your move is with your coins right now. And drop a like on the video. Let's get this to 200 likes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. Catch you guys in the next video. See you later. I'm out. Peace.